Alright, hi guys, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the drone controls on Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, this is used to take really nice screenshots or explore the world easily. And it's kind of weird, like it took me a while to figure out how to actually use them, but I'll show you how. It's really easy. You, you navigate over to camera. Also, if you're flying the plane and wondering why it's like stopped midair, you press pause break. It just pauses the aircraft, everything else is moving, the clouds are still moving, everything else is still in the world moving except your aircraft. So if I press pause break, it moves, I press pause break again, it stops. Um, you open up the camera controls by going under here and here, then you go under showcase. Um, if you have multi monitors, you could obviously pull this window out by pressing this button and then just drag it to the left or the right. But for this, for the purpose of this video, we're not going to do that. We're just going to use the built in menu here. So you go over to showcase and then drone speed. I recommend 100 because it's easier to navigate when you're at 100. The big, big world that this is 100. Follow mode, you could leave that the way it is. Uh, this just follows the plane, but we'll, we'll, we'll be moving out of it regardless. Um, everything else should be just like this. And then you could minimize or X out of this. You're good. I'm going to minimize just in case I want to go to a different angle. Anyways, uh, now the controls. Uh, you move left, right, forward, and back using WASD. So left, D is right. Forward is W, and S is back. Now you press numlock on your keyboard. You need an extended keyboard for this, for it to work like stock. So with the stock settings, the way it is. Um, you use 4, 6, 8, 2 on the numpad to move. To rotate the camera up is 8, 2 is down, 4 is left right is six and you pretty much uh, you operate the camera with two hands you just move it around like this pretty easy now it took me a while to figure out how to go up and down so to go up you hold R to go down you hold F so you move the camera up to go R and you could go anywhere in the world like this you could travel literally anywhere and then boom you could go for example down to the Opera House a oh, very fucking laggy because I'm recording and we're loading in obviously all the new shit so Oh my fucking god, this is laggy. Anyways, um, there we go. We're at the, we're at the opera house. Again, that's how you take these really nice screenshots of people, uh, with their aircraft or anywhere else in the world. And you could also explore the world using this very, very, very easily. So now that you know the camera controls, if you want to take a really nice screenshot, some people don't know this, but you could also change the, the weather and the time using this menu right here in real time, no loading screen, nothing. So if I want it to be nighttime, I just go like this and you can find the perfect angle, perfect sun, everything that you want, perfect time of day to take the best screenshot possible and everything else here how the how high the how high the cloud should be when everything you could adjust with this menu so camera controls are easy um and you could take really nice screenshots using this also another tip uh on the numpad if you press five it resets the whole camera if you press five on the numpad so don't do that while you're actually using it because it will just bring you straight to your aircraft and your settings will be reset. 
Um, but if you want to go to your aircraft easily, you just hit 5 on the numpad. But don't do it while you're obviously far into the world and you don't want to go back to your aircraft. Because that will be kind of annoying. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I use the camera controls. Thanks for watching.